How can I pay child support? How? If my ex-wife is destroying my name and I can't work, how can I work? How can I get paid? How can I take care of my kids? How? The explosive R. Kelly interview with Gail King continues. Now CBS This Morning is sharing an inside look at the R&B legend's financial struggles. This is just one day after Kelly was taken into custody due to over $161,000 in unpaid child support payments. His rep told ET the singer offered to pay $50,000 to $60,000 in court on Wednesday and set up a payment plan, but the judge denied that offer. The 52-year-old expressed shock when it was rejected. His rep asked Adds, quote, you could see the air go out of him. He never expected that. Here's what he told King about his money troubles before his arrest. What is your financial situation, if you don't mind saying? Here's the deal. So many people have been stealing my money. People was connected to my account. I went into, I went by myself for the first time to uh, Bank of America. Didn't know what I was doing. Didn't know what the hell was going on. When? Never when, been when, when did you do that? First uh, time by yourself? About three weeks ago to a month. Three weeks ago was the first time you went to Bank of America Absolutely. by yourself? By myself. Because I was so tired of not knowing where my money was, where my publishing is. Isn't that on my, you then? Huh? Isn't that on you? A lot of it's on me. That you didn't know where your money is? A lot of it's on me. And people say he doesn't but, have money because he had to pay so much in settlements. What do you say about that? Lie. Kelly says he had about $350,000 and he wanted to start a new account, but it would take a week to clear. Now he claims that his ex-wife, Andrea Kelly, lied in the Lifetime docuseries. Your ex-wife says Three, you abused her, Robert. 13 lied. 13 years being married. I flew in on a helicopter. I flew in on a helicopter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Can somebody get us some tissue? I don't want no tissue. Not once have I ever had a domestic violence call at the house and all this, that, and the other. It never happened. And that's when it became real to me, like, you're being abused. Is Andrea not telling the truth when she said she was abused by you? Why Abuse. is she making that up, Robert? I'm not disrespecting her by saying mm -hmm. she's not telling the truth. I'm just being honest. Somebody sent me something on my phone and it said that I hog tied her. I don't know how to hog tie people. What would I hog tie? My kids is listening to this. All of this nonsense. And I ain't been spending no time with him. This is real. This is not a lie. And Kelly's next court date is set for March 13th for child support and again on March 22nd for his sex abuse allegations. Detroit police confirm they are also investigating Kelly for allegedly having sex with a teenage girl almost two decades ago. Yeah, that's a separate case we're yeah. dealing with now. Gail King also sat down with R. Kelly's living girlfriends, 23-year-old Joycelyn Savage and 21-year-old Azriel Clary. I think the interviews with the girls are very fascinating and very revealing. What is your relationship, both of you, with, with, with R. Kelly? We're with him. That's yeah, our relationship. We're with him. Yeah, we that's what it him. is. <laughs> and we're in a relationship with him. Right. You just said it. Uh -huh. A both, very strong relationship as both well. Both of you. Yes, yes, most definitely. Following King's interview, she opened up to E.T. about the energy in the room. When you talk to them, they get very angry. They're very angry at their parents. They say that this is all about money, that their parents were trying to get money from R. Kelly, that they've gotten money from R. Kelly in the past, that they, their parents introduced them to R. Kelly. So it really is a lot of he said, uh, she said, they said. It, it's just a, it's a big mess all the way around in this story. Is it a three-way sexual relationship? Sexually? Well, first of all, I'm not you? here to talk about my personal life. Okay. And I would never share with no one what I do in or outside of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And as a woman, I'm sure you would not either. Yes. No, I wouldn't, but I... But, okay, then. But, so, no, yeah. No, you're Next right. question. Both Savage and Clary's parents have spoken out publicly, fearing their daughters have been brainwashed into being part of an alleged sex cult, something both girls adamantly deny. Tell me, Ashwell, why you're crying. Tell me. I'm crying because you guys don't know the truth. You guys, I believe in 
it's a facade that our parents are saying. This is all lies for money. And if you can't see that, you're ignorant and you're stupid as They got very emotional and they wished that their parents would stop in their words lying on them. They wished their parents would leave them alone. They said they're very happy, they're very safe, and they both love R. Kelly and they are both his girlfriends. Of course, this story is still developing, so subscribe to All Things E.T. And we'll make sure to keep you up to date with all the latest details as they unfold. Until next time, I'm Hallie Stevens. And I'm Courtney Tezano.